Hi all, welcome to the best of that series by IMS. Today we are going to look at a question on number system and kindly solve the sum first and then resume the video. If you are going to take the ZAT and are wondering what exactly to do over the next few days, we have a very special video for you in which we have discussed the pattern of the test, the sectional cutoffs, the preparation strategy and the attempt strategy. You can visit the video by clicking on the i button above or from the link in the description box below. Happy learning. So in this particular sum, it says that Zaheer and Raman basically are at the entrance of a dark cave. To enter this cave, they need to open a number lock. Raman sees a note on a rock, chest of pure diamond kept for the smart one. Number has six digits. So we have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. The second last digit basically happens to be a two. So this place happens to be a two. The third last happens to be a four. And they have given that it is divisible, the entire code basically is divisible by all the prime numbers less than 15. What does it mean? This code basically is divisible by the number 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13 over here. Now if I say a number is a multiple of 2 and 5, it has to end in a 0. So can I say, let's say properly that my last place of this code has to be a 0. So my last three are easily known to us. Now, if I say that the numbers are a multiple of A and B, where let's say A and B are relatively prime or maybe A and B are prime number as well, the number has to be divisible by the number A times of B. So, in this particular case, since the number 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 happens to be co-prime or you can say prime itself, it has to be divisible by the number multiplication of 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. Now, I hope People know this stuff that the number 7 times of 11 times of 13 is always a multiple of 1001. The number 235 are also a multiple of 30. So, can I say that the number basically has to be a multiple of 30 times of 1001 or one can say 30030. So, the code which I am looking for has to be a multiple of 30,030 over here. So, what can one say now that 30,030030 into let's say some number k over here should be a six digit number ending with the number 4, 2 and 0 over here. Now, suppose if I focus on the number 4, 2 because last place happens to be a 0. So, what I want is I want the term 0, 3 into k. So, in other words, one can say in simple term without doing hit and trial, what I want is 3 into k should end with the number 42. 3 into k must end with the number 42 over here. So, let me ask you in the table of 3, 3 into what will correspond to nothing but the number 42 and that simple answer will turn out to be nothing but a 14 over here. So, if I look at the value of k as 14 and if I do 30030 into 14, one will find out that this particular code happens to be nothing but a 420, 420 and what they want is they want nothing but the first digit which can help him open the lock and that basically my answer has to be nothing but 4 over here. So, option number 5 becomes my answer over here. Now, one thing to note over here that people who know this property that for a number to be a multiple of 7, 11 and 13, it has to be a multiple of let's say 1001. So, any number of the form, if you remember, ABC, ABC is always a multiple of the number 7, 11 and 13. But if you look at the number 420, it also happens to be a multiple of nothing but the number 2, 3 and 5 as well. So, in this particular case, we can say ABC, ABC is a multiple of 7, 11, 13 as well as let's say 2, 3 and 5 in this particular case. Since I know that this particular part will end up being ABC in 2000 plus a ABC, this part becomes a ABC common, I get 1000 plus 1 giving us the number 1001 over here. So, one can say it has to be nothing but 420, 420 since the last three are known to me from the given fact over here. So, ultimately my answer do becomes option number 5 over here which is 4 is my first digit on the left hand side, 420 and 420. 